territory in Beijing. Thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to be here again to share with you the data from China. Uh, when we accept the, the topic, uh, at the beginning we feel puzzled. I have uh, searched the published paper, but in, even from Chinese government, they have paid much for, uh, uh, they have uh, um, paid, from Chinese government, we have paid much for the each different project, but in fact, we have no formal uh, burden of the federal units now. And also, <coughs> uh, when we collect the, da the data, I have contact with the people from China CDC. Yes, and the people responsible for the infectious disease project tell me um, we still focus on the uh, infectious disease, but not, not federal illness. It's a problem. So. From my slide, maybe I'm not show the detailed data. I just want to show you uh, from the hospital. How about the data of the febrile illness? Mm. I just uh, give a presentation. It's a network uh, constructed by CML, by Christoph Merck's laboratory, including normally 19 uh, hospitals around, the, around, around China. We call it is a pneumonia research network. Now in China, at least we have 14 such kind of network. And the uh, hospitals, uh, normally more than 400 hospitals distribute uh, in, in, in China. But all of the hospitals um, to do the research work focus on e febrile illness with specific symptoms. For example, with respiratory tract infections, or uh, uh, res uh, respiratory uh, fever with gastrointestinal uh, infections, or fever with rash, fever with uh, central nervous uh, symptoms, something like that. So we just think about if we do the research work focus on febrile units, it's laboratory based research or hospital based research is a problem. And now we, from our side, we think it's better from the uh, hospital based. Uh, we select three hospitals in our network. The three hospitals not only focus on uh, respiratory tract infections, but also uh, focus on other uh, projects uh, with fever, with gastrointestinal, and other kind of symptoms. Um, the first one is a Beijing Children's Hospital located in Beijing. Uh, and in the south of China, there are two hospitals. Uh, all of the hospitals are uh, tertiary level. And also, at first, we want to ask for the data from the north of China or the central of China. But the people in the hospital tell me it's difficult to collect the data. It's a problem, another problem. And now from the, uh, the south of China, it's a general hospital with the most beds in Fujian province, including 2,500 beds. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big hospital, it's a picture. And the yearly outpatient visits the more than 2 million. And the inpatient visits is a uh, 80,000. So uh, according to the data average, every year there are 3.9 inpatients suffered acute fever. So you can uh, view it from the, the figure. A less than five years old and more than five years uh, old, different communal means uh, different symptoms, the yellow one Normally, it's fever with respiratory symptoms. Yeah, we, 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 we ensure that we know fever with respiratory uh, symptoms always account for the higher proportion in the febrile illness. And another is acute, undifferentiated fever. 
and fever with gastrointestinal symptoms, uh, fever uh, with rash, the case seemed not too many, and the fever with central nervous symptoms. It's 2015, 2016, and uh, 2017. The three years seems the proportion is similar. And in 2007, we, we uh, omitted the fever with symptoms cases. You, you can see the fever with acute undifferentiated fever. The cases are even more than other uh, symptoms. And the food line means the total inpatient number. It's from the, this hospital. But when we can f change to another hospital, it's different. It's also located in the south of China. It's special for patients suffered from infectious disease. And also, uh, the common patients can also visit the hospital. And the spectrum of the, the fever with the symptoms is very different. You see, the fever with rash number of fever with rash patients is more than uh, the an another hospital. But normally, the fever with uh, respiratory symptoms, the case is uh, it's, uh, the most. I have contact with the clinician to ask for the, uh, the, the reason. Uh, he tell me, yes, because they are focused on the infectious disease. So consider about the measles, uh, the patients of the measles. I mean, children will visit this hospital. Uh, in China, it's very different. If the uh, children suffered measles or uh, antivirus 71 and something like that, the patient is not permitted to, to be uh, cared in the common general hospital, but special to infectious hospital. So in the future, if we want to, to perform the project, uh, we have to decide in advance which hospital we should select it. It's very different. Yeah, even in this hospital, average 2 point uh, percent of the inpatients suffered acute fever. And the yearly inpatient visit is, is um, 31,000. The third one is the children's hospital. It's the most famous hospital in China. Uh, even it's located in Beijing, but the patients uh, hospitalized in this hospital comes from comes from other. Uh, normally, fifty percent of the patients comes from other sides of country. So um, it it take uh, take them normally ten days to collect all the data. You can see uh, the for it's, it's the inpatient number. So average, sixty point eight percent of inpatients suffered acute fever in children hospital. Normally, the respiratory symptoms uh, with fever is in high proportion, and we should consider the chronic fever uh, with unknown origin contact a higher proportion than adults. And also the febrile with uh, the central nervous symptoms. And now the uh, central nervous symptoms infection agents detection is still uh, difficult in clinic. It's, uh, the, the it's difficult to, be f to find which kind of uh, virus or, b or bacteria uh, infected. Yeah. It's from the children's hospital. When we c compare the three parts, you can understand, yes, the respiratory symptoms with fever, the case uh, contact a higher proportion. And then it's uh, from children's hospital. It's from the uh, hospital special for infectious disease. This ho hospital is a general hospital. And the proportion is very different. Uh, from C CML, we have conducted uh, uh, research on the respiratory tract infection since 2005. So in our lab, we have the data more than 14 years. And uh, uh, in China, we also um, support the, call, we call it MEGA project. We focus on 
to find etiology uh, on the patients with respiratory symptoms, with gastrointestinal symptoms, with central nervous uh, symptoms, and with rash. So the maybe the data will be published this year or next year because it's a uh, ten years, and uh, uh, even from China CDC, they have no the final readouts. So maybe it's our next year, or in the in June, I will share you with you the data later. I just want want to uh, talk about another thing is that it's from the South China, the two general hospital. Um, even with the good patients, they are suffered with respiratory symptoms, but the sp spectrum of the patients showed very distinct. Uh, the blue one is from the Shenzhen Hospital. Uh, the pink one is from uh, the Fujian Hospital. Even for influenza virus, they are very different. For peri-influenza, they are very different. So from different hospital, maybe you can uh, obtain different spectrum of respiratory tract uh, pathogens. And uh, during the performing of the project, almost all of the hospitals have the ability to conduct the blood culture uh, and the cyst culture and the microbiology culture. But for viral culture, normally performed in the uh, laboratory in institute. And also in China, we have the licensed PCR, real-time PCR methods last year. They can be performed in in the uh, clinic. So in the future, even the common respiratory viruses or some other viruses can be detect detected directly in the uh, hospital. So uh, in conclusion, the fiber units with uh, symptoms or dissing uh, based on different hospital with different background. And uh, the fever units with respiratory, respiratory symptoms should in high proportion in adults and in children. We should consider about the FOU in our uh, project design. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ren. Um,